hello guys you're welcome my name is bukumi bikekran so we're going to be checking out this video titled magician who attack a praying muslim woman was taught a bitter lesson by muhammad anak anakwi so let's watch guys about how you can protect yourself from from you know on day-to-day -day basis and this is also a true story that been uh, recently not not you know long ago few years almost that uh, the uh, first of all everyone knows that the sihr is a fact the magic is a fact and unfortunately people are using magic nowadays as it's nothing you know you just you, how you go to bakala and how you go to the uh, grocery shop and, and you buy mm. something Unfortunately, this is the, the level of the people now that, you know, when they go to the sihr or the sahir, uh, to the magician to do the sihr, they don't care about what exactly they are doing. They just go and do it so easily, so easily. And, and uh, yani it's become so famous that some people literally know that, oh, if you want to do sihr, yeah, go to that country. Imagine, literally, they'll say, yeah, go to that country. You can just do, go and do, uh, you, you can do the sihr, whatever the sihr, whatever the kind of a magic you can do. So people are involved unfortunately on that and even that the Prophet ﷺ says that you know the sahar uh, if, if uh, Islamically he's being caught and what is the Islamic ruling on him that is you know to excuse this person the one who's involved in the sihr why because he already disbelieved in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now people are doing this unfortunately and this is something become normal uh, in our, our yeah. society that people are doing Taib, how you can protect yourself and your family members from this sihr in Saudi in Tabuk and I'm saying that because uh, this is how they mentioned, you know, so there is no nothing to hide about. I and mean, they, they captured or they uh, raid a house and they captured one sahira, one woman who were uh, dealing the sihr and everything. So now the one who's saying that he is within the, within the crew of, of uh, uh, the team, you know, what you, whatever you call it, police or some CID or whatsoever. Mm. So he's saying from the, from the back, from the back, you can see the from the outside, the house is normal, like any other houses, you know, the houses in the line. This house is any normal other house. Tayyip. When they raid the house, after getting a lot of uh, complaints and checking and everything, they said in the house from inside is literally like a maqbara, and even worse than the maqbara, mm. you know, that, like a graveyard. It is, you know, even the some subhanAllah, even the graveyard are, are clean. He said from inside, it was, it was filth, nothing else. It was, you know, uh, smelling, it was filled with najasa, with impurity, it was, you know, having a lot of, you know, uh, blood and, and other things uh, in, in, in bottles or in uh, cans, whatever you call it, urine, this and that, hair, nails, everything. And it was inside, it was completely filled. So they captured this Sahira and they asked the Sahira after, after investigating with her. And this is what exactly she said couple of things first of all she said that my most of my customers they are from the women most of the customers of that lady they are from women and when these women come unfortunately they want to do sihr to their own family member subhanallah imagine these women they are made, either making sihr to the you know a brother or his wife or the, the you know husband of a sister or uh, uncle or whosoever you know call it so first of all the most of the clients of this sahira of this uh, witch uh, woman and most of these women or m you know 99 percent of them they are making sihr or asking for the sihr to be done to the uh, family members this is number mm. one also some people come from these women and these family members they come and they ask to re renew the sihr every year or every you know two or three years imagine every time they are coming they already did the sihr and they can see the person is now acting like a, a crazy and insane but still they are going and making sure that okay the sihr we don't want them uh, to to you know undo the sihr or anything so they pay more and they do all mm. more filthy things to you know keep the sihr going on and this is from the witch herself she is saying that also she said some of the sihr that i did many times but the sihr is not taking effect on the other people and inshallah we'll come to that this is the main uh, point that inshallah I'm, I'm talking about that how you protect yourself so this is the sahira the witch is saying by herself that you know i tried my sihr you know many times on a certain people it didn't work how inshallah we'll talk about it طيب. and also they found 
her mobile and they found the list of the contact and they were shocked that in these uh, uh, you know, numbers and list of names they have a big families royal families people be, 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 before their name is D, R and E and G can you imagine yani doctors and the professors also involved into this filth subhanallah so yani what about yani just think what about your uh, shahada what about your certificate that you took you know being a doctor and getting into this being an engineer and getting into this so this is all from the Sahira herself this is what she's saying one of the thing now which is which is the main point to this story they found from the sihr that she is doing at home you know mm. of course different things filthy things uh, uh, papers full of blood uh, some names on it some pictures on it they, they fold it and do things like that for the for the jinn to to you know do the sihr according to that whatever the thing according to this or uh, once they found all these different uh, things uh, in her in her house they found one name is repeatedly there you know more than i think five times okay. more than five times uh, a, n a name of a lady being keep repeated you know again and again and again so the cid and the police asked this lady they said what is this like you know why this person's name is keep you know you are repeating it sometime in this way and sometime in that way sometime in a bottle or sometime in s different thing why so this is now which is saying that this lady I have no idea what's wrong with her that every time I do sihr on her and who is doing the sihr basically uh, Amma what is Amma her aunt her aunt you know imagine hmm. so the aunt is doing sihr on her niece subhanallah and that lady she is a teacher 30, uh, 32 years old Five times she, they are doing sihr on her on a different time, on a different places, on a different ways. And every time the jinns comes back with no success. Mm. They found this, this lady's name in the sihr and they found the same name in the contact, on the contact list. So the police called the contact list, this lady, and they called her. Now they said, see, we found... You know that you know there is there is you know a, a lady trying attempting to do sihr on you, and there's like a more than five times sihr has been din, uh, done on you in a different timing on a different places, uh, different ways, but the sahara saying that she couldn't or the jinn couldn't get inside your house, so didn't you feel anything? Nothing is affecting you or your family members. Anyone is acting weirdly or anything? She said, I I don't know that you know. That my family members, they are abnormal. Alhamdulillah, everyone is fine. But all we felt during all these you know, years, every time, time to time, what we are feeling, that there is a pressure in the window. As there is a wind. You know, mm. So you, know, you, you hear the pressure of the window. And sometimes we see that the lights are fl flickering. You know? So what we thought that you know, this is something you know, normal. Maybe our house in a, in a place or in a position that you know, the wind... You know, even it's not a windy day, but it, you know, we feel the pressure, you know, the, the windows are moving a little bit. And about the lights, we said, oh, maybe this is from the government. So we didn't really pay attention to that, what was going on. And the Sahira from the other side, what she's saying, she said, every time I send the jinn to that lady, the jinn goes all the way to the house, the jinn are unable to see the people at home. So this is who's saying this? Which? And this is more than one, actually, more than one Sahir, more than one magician is saying the same thing, not only this lady. Those who are protecting themselves from the dhikr, from the athkar, from the Qur'an, the jinn are unable to see this guy. That's why they cannot attack him. That's why they cannot affect mm -hmm. him. And this is by the, you know, the, the sahirin, yani by, the, by the magician themselves, that they cannot see them. So five different times, five different attempts to go and attack that lady and the family of that lady. And the jinn's going all the way there. First of all, they have no access to the house. For some reason, they cannot get inside. And while we are, they are looking from the windows, they see no one. No one inside. Even though the family members inside, but the jinns cannot see anyone. So they come back all the way. They are, you know, every time they are coming back to the Sahira, to the witch, that, you know, we cannot make it. Now, coming back to that teacher, that lady. Now, one of the police guy, he said, may I know what you used to do? That how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is protecting you? So this is what she said, that this is what I'm doing on daily basis. And this is, you know, my advice to all of you. And this, these are the simple things and all being proven by uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the ahadith, 
that you know subhanallah if you will do you will be protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so first of all this lady is saying this teacher is saying actually that every day I have this habit to do the morning and evening adhkar morning and evening adhkar within this I have certain dua that I have to do number one is أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة ومن كل عين هامة ومن كل شيطان ومن كل شيطان وهامة ومن كل عين لامة this is a famous dua and a famous uh, protection uh, from the hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and also ومن همزات الشياطين وأن يحضرون again أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة من كل شيطان وهامة ومن كل عين لامة ومن همزات الشياطين وأن يحضرون so this is the first dhikr that she used to do in the you know, morning the second dua, there are three dua that she is con continuously doing it. The second dua is, أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق. Everyone, I, I believe, knows that. So, doing this dua continuously again and again. And the third dua is, بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم. So she said, I used to do this, dua, this dhikr, whatsoever happened, at least these three, I used to do again and again. Then, also she said with it I used to read Surah Al-Fatiha and we know from the hadith that you know reading Surah Al-Fatiha seven times it's a cure it's a cure from from the uh, disease cured by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you have now that this three dua number one number two is Fatiha reading Fatiha number three the Surah Al-Baqarah or at least the first few pages of Surah Al-Baqarah and about the Surah Al-Baqarah she used to do it every three days Every three days, she used to read Surah Al-Baqarah. And the Prophet ﷺ said, and everyone knows, that whoever reads Surah Al-Baqarah in a house, the shayateen will not enter this house for three days. Other way, the meaning of this hadith, the shayateen will flee from that house and they will not enter it for three days. So this is very important, you know, also for all of us to do it. Either some one day will father will do, after three days the son will do, after three days the wife will do. Let's make a routine, you know, so everyone will do this every three days at home. Then also reading Ayat al-Kursi, by the way. Alhamdulillah, and everyone knows that, you know, if you just go through the Athkar al-Sabah al masa the morning and evening Athkar, most of all this is included. So Ayat al-Kursi is number four. Then number five, the last two verses from uh, Surah al-Baqarah. That is, Amana al bima unzil alayhi min rabbihi, the last two ayat. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man qara'a uh, akhira, uh, akhira ayatim min Surah al-Baqarah kaffatah. That whoever reads and recites these two ayat from the Surah Al-Baqarah, the last two ayat, it is sufficient for him and it is enough for him. And this is the Prophet ﷺ saying that. Then Surah Al-Ikhlas, and everyone knows Surah Al-Ikhlas, and Mu'awwidatain. The fifth point is the two Mu'awwidat, قُلْ أَعْدُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ and قُلْ أَعْدُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ. So imagine, these are simple things, my brothers and sisters, that subhanAllah, these are the simple things that you know you can do on daily basis but look at the protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and now this is, we are not talking about the time of Sahaba or the Tabi'een this is just a two years maximum two or three years ago this has happened in Tabuk in one of the places in Saudi and this is from the Sahira which uh, the, the, uh, the Sahira lady herself she is saying all this and by checking this with, with, the, with the lady uh, the teacher she said well this is my daily routine and this is what I'm doing so Alhamdulillah Allah protected her her husband, her children, and all the family because of these, you know, few ayat and few uh, athkar. So this is, again, and I would like to advise myself and all my brothers and those sisters, uh, don't, يعني, do whatever, you know, be slacking, be lazy in your work, be lazy in your tijara, in your business, whatever. But, you know, there are few things that, you know, you should not compromise in your life. That is the athkar al-sabah, athkar al-masa, few ayat from the Quran, few uh, dhikr, few dua that the Prophet ﷺ told us. So, يعني, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us, especially in a day where we, we go through this all fitan and all these problems and daily uh, masayib, daily uh, you know calamities that we can see you know happening here and there uh, around us so I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from from this and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who are always following the Quran following the Sunnah applying the Quran and applying the Sunnah in our life until we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that Wallahu ta'ala alam wa sallahu sallam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'i that's how we need we need to be very very prayerful because 
we are in a spiritual world whether it's physically or spiritually there are battles going on every day so be good to people render help you know do good deeds pray to god that's the only way we can be under the the, the umbrella of god god can use his hand to cover us because god will do his part so we have to do our own part just imagine the story the man said it's happening it's still happening to people it's still happening out there so one has to be keen to god like the major thing you need to do is to hold on to god be prayerful never let god go and be good it's very important be good to people around you be good to people don't don't try to make enemies or don't try to do things that will make people you know just you know and another thing we and one of the important things we can do is to make sure that we should not allow anger because when you're angry you get angry you don't know what people can do no no matter what as long as you're prayerful you have a plain mind god will always protect you so that's what you need to do just be prayerful and god will always see us true thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye